Wow, so it's been a while since I've done a video and if this is your first time on my channel my name is Farok and I do travel and adventure style vlog videos. This video here is a little bit different than the other ones. I think most of mine kind of change up as we go along but this video is on a project I've been working on and it's a cultural magazine for iview ethnic trust. So yeah, this magazine, this cultural magazine, is actually the second edition. So the first edition is this one here. So let me just, yep, so that one there. So this one here is Think Diversity, and it says Aotearoa, equally different. So that was the first edition. And the second edition is Same Journey, no, jokes, I designed this. Wait, hold on one second, guys, I got this. Please, I'll cover it. So it actually says, um, different journeys, one destination. So the first edition was actually sponsored by Fuji Xerox, and the second edition will be sponsored by them too. So this is my first time designing a magazine. And the reason for this is, so I'm on the team of iView Ethnic Trust, and we've got a great team, and we all kind of focus on different things. So this time around, we wanted to do it ourselves and just see how it would come out. And honestly, it's been tough project there's a lot of ups and downs learning how to use a new tool but the great thing here was I had experience with using Adobe Premiere which you see in my um, in my videos and I know how to use Photoshop which I use for a lot of different photos and images and whatnot so I heard that the actual tool Adobe InDesign was used for magazines will be a lot easier than the likes of Photoshop so I thought I'd attempt it and to be honest once I said to the team that I'll try it out I kind of yeah, once I started using it, I was like, oh, actually, I can do this. And yeah, so it's been a project that I committed to. And yeah, just thought I'd talk about how it's been the ups and downs of using a new tool and working on a new project. So the reason behind this project is actually to build bridges between different cultures and different people. So the thing is here with the first edition, if you actually open it up, right, it's available online as well. And let's just say you open up any page. So... The first edition actually had like very basic, so it was like you have an image, you have text, and that's kind of how it was. So I don't know, maybe these might be some familiar faces to you. Um, but yeah, each person would have their own little quote here. Um, I'll, maybe I'll read one of them out to you. So let's just find a random one. This is actually one guy here, so once again, so it's all about diversity. So he had a quote here, which is, we're all the same. Or if I just open up another random one, so we got one of the bros here, so it goes, let's focus on our similar similarities rather than differences. So like small quotes like these that kind of were impactful, had deep meanings, but were quite short and easier to read. So the reason for this was, this magazine was focused on going um, out to primaries, but also in the case where it went out to like universities and high schools, and even corporate environments, it was easily read readable and everyone could read it. So we sent out to about 500 different uh, schools and corporate offices, and which was pretty cool. And there's a lot of people that order online as well because it makes a big difference just having this. And the whole point behind it was that like, if you're in primary, imagine just flicking through and then you go through and you go, hey, like, I, I wear a headscarf and she's wearing a headscarf, I can relate. And then you just go through and you start seeing all these different people. And just from a young age, you just start seeing different types of people and you're just getting accustomed and it's a way to kind of build bridges between different cultures and like yeah you kind of just get rid of racism you you get rid of that whole like oh they different from me and everyone just it's like more inclusive kind of world so it's really cool that this went out to primaries and the next edition which i've been working on was a little bit more different so it was a little bit more in depth so each person uh, i don't know we don't know I haven't actually got it printed out, it just went to print. But let me just go through some of the pages I was editing. So pretty much, it'll be like, it was like this. So you have like a story on one side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, this, when I kind of moved it around, putting it all together, I kind of messed that up. But yeah, there's just some notes because we were going over it. But like, example, you have like the image on one side, and then you have the text on the other side. So it's a little bit different from the first edition, but like, you capture the story, and it was, it was about people who have came from overseas and how it was for them growing up in New Zealand. And it was also for people that have grown up in New Zealand and have been here for like maybe second or third generation. It was, which is really cool. So we've got youngsters, we've got elderly people in there as well. And we've just got people from all walks of life just talking about their stories. And honestly, some of these stories are really, really interesting. 
I mean, they all have their own, like, edge to it, but when I say really interesting, I mean, like, just the things people went through growing up, and, like, this, you just read about it, and some things are kind of sad as well, because of what people had to go through when they came here, but at the same time, there's a lot of positive messages in there. So that's kind of just an idea of what the magazine was like, and what, you know, the details are around it. But the tool InDesign, so Adobe InDesign, I'm, I'm going to say it was a bit of a struggle kind of learning how to use it, but the upside was that I already had the experience from using Photoshop, and also the fact that the Ivy Ethnic Trust had color branding, and we had a concept from the first design, it made it a lot easier to work on a second design, because we kind of just took the idea um, from the first design and tried to incorporate that into the second edition but not the exact same, like kind of changing it up and whatnot. So it was pretty cool to have that there. So there was a few struggles behind like working on a magazine. One of them was like trying to figure out a timing for the photo shoot to get people to come through. So everyone, you know, nowadays everyone's working, they've got commitments and it was a bit of a struggle trying to get everyone to come through on the same day for photo shoots. So there are a lot of days where people commit and <laughs> some people wouldn't turn up. Um, some of those people aren't actually in the magazine now because unfortunately they couldn't commit to photo shoots or sending in a story so yeah unfortunately but then there were also the struggles of like trying to get a story from someone because yeah everyone's busy people have commitments and you know families and whatnot so that was a bit of a a bit of a struggle there the great thing about this project though is like you meet people from all walks of life like the individuals their stories some of these people actually I haven't even met either but just reading through through their stories because, you know, I had to pick out quotes and stuff, so I had to read through pretty much all the stories. So if you're in the magazine and you're seeing this, yep, I read your story. But it was pretty cool. Like, honestly, every single person had something different to bring to the table in a different story. But they all had the same kind of message, which was New Zealand is just a great place. And it's a place where we can end up being, like, the model, the role models for the rest of the world. So people see how it is here. And it was pretty cool to see that and that story across many, many different people from different different continents and different backgrounds and just it was awesome seeing that. Also as well we had so many different variations like if I just show you so this was actually if I put on the screen now so this was the first magazine we had so one concept there and then if we kind of just like roll through they had another concept and then this right here is the final one that well I'm hoping it's the final one I put it forward to print it so we'll see what they come back with but this is the final one and this is the edition two which, if you compare it to the first one, this one, let me just put this on the side here. So this is edition one, and this is edition two. Which is pretty cool. So, I mean, we're trying to figure out how we're going to do edition three as well. We're really working on that. Uh, but we'll have a launch for edition two as well. So if you are interested, jump on Instagram and follow iView Ethnic Trust. So once the event goes live, you can actually see that the event is going to happen and you can sign up and just, you know, RSVP there. Also, if you are interested in this project, so with Edition 3, you can actually message us and reach out and say, hey, I'd be interested in Edition 3. So the major ones here is that the fact that we actually are sponsored by Fuji Xerox. So they sponsored, I think it's about 500 magazines again. Could be wrong in the number, but they've actually sponsored it. So that's really awesome. And if you look at Fuji Xerox as well, they have stats in the back of the magazine. And they're actually pushing for cultural inclusiveness, which is awesome on their side as well. And it kind of just shows that other companies in New Zealand should also do this too. But yeah, this was kind of just a little message, a little rundown of a project I've been working on, which has taken up a lot of time as well, among other projects. But the thing is, it's been really awesome working with the team and learning a new tool as well, which is pretty cool. Like now I know I can make magazines or posters or whatever with InDesign as well, which is really, really cool. But yeah, it's just, it's just great. So I did an IG poll the other day and a lot of people wanted me to do the video on Turkey. So I had New Zealand or Turkey and a lot of people want to see the video for Turkey. But yeah, I will definitely get to that as well. I've got another video I'm going to do on another project I'm working on, which is supposed to go live in about a week or two, depending on how much time I put into it. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. If you want to see other projects we are working on or on my own, subscribe to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button. Honestly, like, I know I haven't been pushing as much content out as I was supposed to. I had a series I was supposed to release as well, which I didn't. But there will be more videos coming out and showing you behind the scenes of one of the other projects that's coming up in about a month. But I can't really speak about that one now. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, big thumbs up, like the video. Uh, sorry, big thumbs up, subscribe to the video, and I'll catch you guys up next time.